Sometimes we see our physical friends, especially after they have been listening to the likes of us, where you have become aware that you are the creator of your own experience, and you are aware that your thoughts do create, and you are aware that you get what you think about, whether you want it or not, that your thoughts do turn to things, that your thoughts do become your reality, that what you think and what you feel and what manifests is always a match. Sometimes we see you in this awareness that you are the creator of your experience, now beginning to be afraid of your thoughts. And sometimes, especially those of you who really, really want to be deliberate creators and have even managed to get some creative control of your own experience, sometimes you are rather hard on each other as you see someone in a moment of expressing negative emotion and you worry that the negative emotion is such a severe indicator that they've pinched themselves off from well-being that you panic and in this moment you want to turn them from this wretched, terrible negative emotion into bright-eyed and bushy-tailed sunshine and lollipop positive emotion. <laughs> and as you point out to them that they are not in a very positive place, they reach for your neck. <laughs> because they knew that without your affirmation of it. And now your condemnation of their failure compounds where they stand. And so as we've been observing you and watching the deliberateness with which you are wanting to get a handle on your own emotions, we want to soften your approach to your emotional awareness by reminding you that wherever you are and whatever reason you got to where you are, whatever is responsible for the mood that you are feeling is a vibrational stance that is there because you've been beating the drum of something for a while and it is illogical, it is impossible in terms of law of attraction to suddenly shift from one very strong negative emotion to one very strong positive emotion. You're asking something that is physically, in terms of the physics of law of attraction and the vibrational nature of your universe, it's not going to happen. And when you condemn yourself because you can't turn it around instantly, you only compound the problem. And so this is our plea to you to lighten up on yourself, go easier, and don't be so ready to condemn yourself in the midst of negative emotion. And here's what we mean. So you're in the middle of something that is very strong. Maybe it's a deep depression. It might have come about because of some sense of severe betrayal. Or it might have come about because of some sense of severe loss. You could call it grief or betrayal or depression. It doesn't matter what you call it, but just for sake of our story to you here, accept with us for a moment that it's strong negative emotion and it's suffocating you. You can hardly get a breath and you want it to be different, but you don't know how to change it. And in the midst of this suffocating depression, strong negative emotion, in your knowledge about law of attraction and in your knowledge of emotions, you want to do something about it, but as hard as you try, nothing much helps. You can't get to joy no matter how hard you try. And as you look around in your world and you find something that is that irritant and you focus upon it and you vent your anger toward it, you got to admit you feel better. In other words, that anger, while students of deliberate creation would not encourage you to have it, was an improvement in your vibration. And you know it because you feel better. You do, don't you? Now someone who did not understand the depths of your despair, who came from a place of feeling very good, who is now observing you in your anger, might very well express to you that your anger is inappropriate. But they don't know, do they? They don't know the improved vibration that you've achieved as you shifted from despair and suffocation to anger. They don't know what a big improvement you've made. <laughs> and we would like to give you permission to tell them that it isn't any of their business, although that won't help. But sometimes recognizing that, hey, I do feel better, this feels better, 
is the step that's necessary in order for you to reach for the next step that feels better. Because you can get from anger to frustration, but it's hard to go from grief or despair to frustration. It's too big of a step. And we've never seen anyone go from despair to joyous connection. You could change the subject and receive some distraction. But what we're wanting to talk about here today is how you can, if you want to, take any vibration, any emotion, any mood, any state of being, and you can move it into a better feeling place. And then you can stabilize in that angry place where none of your friends want you to be, where only you know is an improvement, you can stabilize there and then you can reach for the next thing that feels a little better until you stabilize into some pretty consistent frustration. And then you can reach for the next thing that feels better, which would be something maybe like aggravation or a little less frustration, maybe even a little cynicism or pessimism. <laughs> you can stabilize there for a while while you're reaching for things that feel even better than that until you find some hopefulness you could stabilize there for a little while until you start believing a little more. And then you could stabilize there until you know who you are. But what we are encouraging is that wherever you are as you are making these incremental steps, if you will apply this new mantra to your experience, just say often, I'm going to make the best of things. I'm going to do my best to make the best of things. I'm going to try to make the best of it. I'm going to try to make the better of it. I'm going to try to ease it a little. In other words, no longer say, I'm going to quantum leap from the worst of feeling to the best of feeling. Instead say, I think I'll work with the laws of the universe. I think I will not try to receive on my radio something that my dial is not even set on. I think I will understand this vibrational universe and I think I will work on adjusting my tuner, but I think I will stop condemning myself as I'm making the adjustment. And the only way you're ever going to be able to do that is if you stop caring so much about what other people are saying about you because they don't know. They don't know the barometer. They don't know the vibrational variance between your desires and your beliefs. Someone who hardly wants anything cannot understand for a moment your frustration at not achieving something that you want. They say, I don't know why you want that. I don't know why you're so bothered that you don't have that. A lot of people don't have that. And what you want to say to them is, I'm not a lot of other people and I can't feel for them. I can only feel for me. And then they might say to you, well, you know, if you would give up that desire, you would feel a lot better. And then you have to say to them, I can't stop the desires that are naturally born within me. My environment has produced this desire within me. I've got to go with the flow. And if I don't go with the flow, then I'm not in alignment with what my life experience has expressed me toward. Don't try to hold me back from the leading edge, which is my perspective or my focal point. We're wanting to give you a little bit of encouragement to stop caring so much about what other people think about where you are because they don't know. They cannot for a moment begin to measure the vibrational equality between your desires and your beliefs. They cannot know how you feel. They don't know how your desires are flowing and they don't know the level of your resistance. It isn't any of their business. They don't know. They cannot coach you about your emotion. Only you can. So the next time you are so mad you'd like to rip the hands off of some clock and throw it away because you don't want to get up and go to work, the next time you are so angry because somebody has done something or you have focused upon something and you can hardly control yourself, stop for a moment and say, at least I'm not depressed. <laughs> stop for a moment and say, I may very well have chosen this anger because in my selfish nature, I'm always trying to find the thing that feels the best. And don't you know, blame feels so much better than guilt. It does. It does. So, as we're moving forward here today, we want to help you to identify wherever you are. You'll notice that some are in a place of strong negative emotion and they won't move a whole lot, but they'll move. In other words, 
This is not a forum where we're trying to get you to move the gamut of emotion. This is a forum where we want you to understand your ability to move. This is a forum where we want you to understand that you do have vibrational control of your vibration. If wherever you stand, you say, I'm going to make the best of it. Let's say you're not in a good place at all. And you say, I'm going to make the best of where I am. You may not move very far, but you'll move a little. And now you say, on this new day, I'm going to make the best of it. You might not move very far, but you'll move a little. And then you say, I'm going to make the best of it. And you might not move very far, but you'll move a little. And with a few days of saying, I'm going to make the best of it, you can move right over to where the best of them are feeling, to where the best of them are receiving, to where the best of them are living. You can move into the best of financial conditions, the best of bodily conditions, the best of relationship conditions. You can move to the best of everything that you have identified. But you just got to stop beating up on yourself about where you are. Some of you may be feeling a little confusion because as you've been listening to us for a while, we say this is the science of deliberate creation and you want to think about what you want. You want to set goals. You want to talk about what you want and why you want. And then we say this is the art of allowing. You want to put your feet in the bay. You want to pet your cat. You want to allow the well-being to flow to you. And now we're saying you want to pay attention to the way you feel and you want to feel as good as you can feel in any moment. And you say, well, Abraham, you offer us so many different varieties of things. You are a little schizophrenic. And we say, we are responding to the multitude of conditions that is your human experience. In other words, you're moving around in terms of where you are and you always will be. When you decide that by beating the drum of something that gives you a little relief is the best thing that you can do, and you beat that drum and then you consciously acknowledge, I do feel a little better. And then, you add to that your awareness that you have deliberately made that move. There's no place you cannot go. But when you're having emotion and you have no creative control over the emotion at all, now it does feel like life is asserting itself into your experience. And you do feel like a very small cork on a raging sea with very little control of your own experience. And we are wanting you to regain your control no matter where you stand. So if you go from depression to anger, accept our applause and pat yourself on the back and say good job as you go shouting yourself down the street. And if you go from peacefulness to eagerness, pat yourself on the back for your improved emotion. If you go from appreciation to love to ecstasy, Pat yourself on the back, but never again condemn yourself from not being able to go immediately from depression to ecstasy, because that's not possible. Good. We're done. <laughs> we are eager to talk with you about anything that is important to you. You'll discover a very lovely unfolding here. This is truly co-creating at its best. You are leading edge creators on the leading edge of leading edge creating. You are consciously understanding the vibrational nature of your universe. And more importantly, you are beginning to consciously understand the synthesizing of your own emotions into creative control. It does not get any better than that.